All right, sup nerds. We're doing a two-bit binary counter using a D flip flop. So counter, we're gonna assume it just goes from zero to one and two to three, and it's two-bit binary. So we know that the highest number we can get is three. So I'm gonna do my state table. This is my present state, and then I have my next state, Q1 plus Q2 plus. Should have wrote Q1 and Q2 here. Q1 and Q2, and then my next state. Usually we have an output, in this case we don't. It's not given to us. So my Q1, my present state, we said it's gonna be zero, one, two, and three. My next state, when I'm at zero and I go to one, that's my next state, so that's gonna be one. It's gonna be one right here. And then from one I go to two, two I go to three, now, when I'm at 3, where am I going to go next? I'm just going to go back to 0. So, I'm going to put a 0 here. So, this is just written in normal um, numbers. You need to convert it to binary. It's going to make more sense. So, my present state for Q1 and Q2, it's going to be 0, 0 in binary. Is, or, 0 in binary is 0, 0. 1 is 0, 1. 2 is 1, 0. And 3 is 1, 1. And then now, if I convert my next state Q1 plus and Q2 plus, I'm going to have 1 is 0, 1, 2 is 1, 0, 3 is 1, 1, and then 0 is 0, 0. Again, I don't have an output for this. So, it says using D flip-flops, which is great because you don't have to do anything for when you go from a state table. And your state assignment table are equal for a D flip-flop. The same thing because a D flip flop your D and your Q plus when D is zero, Q plus is zero, and D is one, Q plus is one. It makes everyone's life easier. So now you need equations to design your D flip flop. If you can't tell looking at the table what your equations are going to be, use your K maps. So this is going to be a two by two K map because we're using two bits, so it's going to look like this. So you need, you need a flip-flop, or you need a K-map for each equation, right? So this is my D1, this is my D2. So how many how many K-maps do we need? We need two K-maps. So this is going to be Q1 up here, and this is Q2. It's going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. I'm going to copy this so I can have it twice for my other D equation. So this is my D1 equals, this is my D2 equals. So how do we fill our K-map? We look at our state ta or our state assignment table. So this is for D1, this one right here. So I'm going to look at my D1 column. And now I need my values for Q1 and Q2. So when Q1 and Q2 are 0 and 0, my Q1 plus is 0. So I don't care about that one. All I want, all I want is my min terms. So that's what's going to give me my equation for D1. So I know that at 0, 1, I'm going to have a 1. So 0, 1, I'm going to have a 1 in that um cell and then in one zero one zero i'm gonna have a one in here as well and now if i look at d2 i'm gonna look at the next column here so d2 is the pink column and i'm gonna see where i have my one so my one is in this row my one is in this row so i'm gonna fill those cells out in the d2 k map so d2 equals um so i have a one here and then i have a one at one zero so now I have to group them. So these, they, they don't group. These, this K-map, you can't group them by corners. You have to group them uh, individually. This one can group together. So now when I go to write D1 equation, um, this up, the upper right corner cell, that's Q1, and then Q2 naught, and then plus uh, Q1 naught, and then Q2. This is the same thing as saying Q1, is ex exclusive ORD with Q2. That's because each term, each like thing has a term in it, Q1 and Q2, and one is knotted and the other one isn't, and then this one's knotted and this one isn't. So now for my D2, I look and I see that Q1 is changing, so I don't include it. Q2 is just zero, so it's going to be Q2 naught. If it was if it was a one, I'd have Q1 only, not Q1 naught. 
So now I have my equations for my, um, for designing my deep flip flop. I'm gonna go up here and use this. I already drew it before. I'm just gonna save time. Okay, so. So we said that V1 equals Q1 exclusive ord with Q2. And let's just say we didn't know that that's exclusive ord. You can still, like, draw your gates as Q1, Q2 not ord with q1 not q2 that's fine it's just gonna look a bit messier and like yeah it's just a little disgusting okay d2 equals q2 not so when you go to draw your flip-flops um this question didn't say if you have a positive edge clock or a negative so i just assume positive if it said you have a negative edge you're gonna put a circle here and a circle here so now to draw these gates in so d1 we said was Q1 exclusive ward with Q2. So I'm going to draw my gate like this. And then I have Q1 coming from here. And then Q2 is here. So I would go around and I would just... Q1 is there. This looks so bad. And then Q2... Oof. Q2 is going to look like this. And then now I'm, my D2 equation just only has Q2. So I'm just going to draw... A line coming out of D2, and then it's gonna go around. It's Q2 knot. 